I'm being completely honest. I'm kind of surprised at Microsoft for once. <laughs> I like. I don't know. They. I'm. I, everything they did just looked pretty cool. Yeah, I. I'm definitely happy. I. This was like a surprise. Like I, you know, I look on Twitter or YouTube and I just see like streaming coming to Windows 10 via across Xbox platform. I'm like, what? And just as I watched the video more and more, I got more and more excited. <clears throat> they did so much that I just wasn't prepared. My my body wasn't ready. Yeah, I didn't even know they were doing this event, which brings no, me, which brings me to another point. Why didn't you just show this off at CS? Why does everybody have to make their own events? Because everybody wants to be like Apple. Well, yeah, that's it's, it's really dumb. The stream was awful quality, I heard. Oh, all, really? All constantly buffering. Terrible. I didn't even know that it was on those, so I don't. I didn't watch it. But, oh, um, man. Yeah. I was going to say why you would do your own separate event. I'm just thinking, in CES, there are thousands of things well, yeah. that people review. Yeah, but... And like, oh, Windows 10 is great, but then the next day, uh, you see the BMW i8 self-driving car, and that just completely sweeps over Windows 10. Well, you... <clears throat> That's fun, but... I mean, Microsoft, uh, you would... You would probably think that you know, considering he's part of the top three of computer developers, that a lot of people, uh, uh, computer OS developer, Windows. It, have you heard about that new indie startup uh, software called Windows? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks a lot like uh, Mac OS ten. Is it actually a thing? <laughs> what? What? I don't, are you joking? Or are you serious? No, no, I'm, I was joking. Oh, I thought you were serious. No, 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 no. I was saying like, <laughs> I was just, I was just being stupid. I was uh, like, really? I th- that I feel like that'd get copyrighted number <laughs> one. And then like, second of all, just be original, people. Well, that's anyway, that was funny. something that Microsoft didn't do. Anyway, uh, let's not dwell on the past. Uh, let's dwell on the past, present. So yeah, they. I just felt like. You know they would wouldn't really have to uh, challenge a lot of other people at CES, considering they make the most used uh, desktop OS in the world. But um, mm-hmm. so yeah, so Windows 10. Uh, I've heard about it before. That's um, and that the Start Mini's coming back and everything. Yeah, I saw that. It seems like a while ago, and I was kind of excited. Yeah, even so, though I don't own a Windows PC, of course, I would be excited for that. Right. So I'm looking at a picture of it right now. I know this is a developer preview, but um, a lot of people saw Windows 8 and they were like, "What? where's the start menu? Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'll do. The start screen, oh, there's squares and boxes and I don't know where everything is. It's pretty easy to um, find where everything is and I'm going to uh, um, break it down for you guys as fast as I possibly can. The Windows uh, Start menu on Windows 7, the last time it was viewed, uh, consisted of most used apps, a little slot at the top for apps that you wanted to stay there. On the right was, of course, your profile and all your Mm -hmm. user folders, including, you know, the computer folder, music folder, media folders, whatever, uh, documents and everything like that. Then uh, on the bottom, there was a search bar, and there was also a uh, pull-up, uh, like, drop-down menu for all of your uh-huh. programs that you have installed. Now, I kind of like that. Now, th- yeah, so that's, that's what Start Menu has been forever until what Windows 8 did. So, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. So Windows 8, you got the, the Start screen. So uh, I'm going to break this down. So if you go to the right and then slide up on the side, it's, they reveal the things called the charms. There's a search thing right there. All right, so that's how you get to the search, but even the, as fast as opening up the start menu. So that, that's, that's fine. Um, that's, uh, I just fixed that problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, now all programs viewed. If we go to the start menu, there's a little arrow at the bottom. If you click on it, you can see all of your installed programs. If you need to see the file where it is, just click uh, right-click on it, mm-hmm. uh, and th- this has to be a de- uh, desktop program to do this, and then click um, just uh, open file location, and you can see where it's specifically installed, so I just solved that solution, uh, if you can't find that. Um, if 
for the user folders. Uh, you you could just have these on the desktop. You don't need to have them in the start menu. You could have them on the desktop. And I also use a uh, third party dock that looks a lot like a dock on um, Mac OS X. Are you uh, talking about Rocket Dock? Yeah, Rocket. It's called mm-hmm. Rocket Dock. I've used it, used it since like I got Day a computer. So I I highly suggest it. It works pretty much flawlessly. There's oh yeah, I've seen it, it on it. your computer. It looks really nice. Yeah. it looks just like the dock on OS ten. Yeah, <clears throat> I'd highly recommend checking it out. Rocket Dock. Oh, voice crack. There. Rocket Dock. Uh, and these end of the week podcasts. Oh man, are so I know. Hard. But this is like the only time we have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. The ACT class. (laughs) Oh, don't even get me started. But anyway, yeah, so I use this thing called Rocket Dock. It has all the customization you could ask for, even more than um, Apple's Dock. Now, um, so that's how I use all my shortcuts. All of my programs, like, like I'll click on that, and then if there's, like, like, I'll click on my videos folder. So here's all my videos and my programs that are associated with videos. So that's how I organize mm-hmm. that. So that uh, that that gets rid of the the uh, shortcuts and user folders. And I have just basically solved your issue with not having a uh, start menu. It now for as for the start screen, it's almost like I'm running a different OS. Uh, you know, of course everything's flat and kind of it's kind of weird to have, but uh-huh. it, it has a lot of easy to use apps like Mail. Um, Smart glass and like you know stocks and music and just it's like I'm using a tablet but it's on my screen now that's really cool but once again it's mm-hmm. like I'm running two different OSs I really like it it's just kind of weird because when you open it like you know the X and the the minus and the top are a different style than the main OS so that's a little jarring uh, yeah but I mean I don't I don't have a problem with it at all I don't know why people don't like Windows 8 and I. Honestly, just I—I I mean, the, the unless you're somebody like me who like loves the style of how things look, and you liked the transparent look, but it was—I was also really tired of it because that's how Windows Vista looked, and everybody mm-hmm. hated it. Everybody Windows hated Vista. Windows Vista, but it looked the same as Windows Seven. So I—I I didn't get that. So people are just really stupid sometimes. <laughs> I, I I mean I'm sorry, but there's nothing wrong with Windows 8 in in terms of functionality and availability. It, it there is even well, more. I, I would argue that it's too different for the common person. Now for the for the common person, yeah, I mean, and that's that's Windows' main market is the common. I mean, they're not people like you and me who live, eat, and live, eat, and breathe, and drink tech. It's for. You're, my, my dad at work has a Windows right. APC, and he's like, like the first thing he said to me is like, yeah, it's got this weird like Windows A on it. Looks really weird. Right. So yeah, it. I could understand why, why um. That it would tailor to that, but I've heard just regular people who who are are PC like you know know a lot of stuff about when like PC and their gamers or whatever, and and they don't like it. It's like. Well, okay, well, give me a reason why you don't like it. I mean, uh, I understand, change. I understand for why, that's exactly, that's yeah. that's the people I'm talking about. I understand why older people have a problem with it, because, like I was saying, it is a little bit jarring with these, they're completely like two separate interfaces. Um, and I know what you're, I, I, I'm looking at some screenshots too, and yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, but, so, with Windows 10, finally coming full circle... They're bringing back the start menu, and they're integrating the start screen and the start menu into one thing. On the left side is, like, the classic, and then on the right side is, like, the start screen. And the, But there's no individual start screen now. Like, so... Oh, there's not? Yeah, like, it's... I'll, I'll send you this link, Sam, and you can, like, pause the screenshot. But... Okay. <clears throat> the, so now I... Now, since it's like this together, you can't make things look different. You, it looks like I'm running Windows 7 on the left, and I'm running Windows like 8 on the right. You need to have like the Documents folder themed like like a, do- a folder. It needs to be themed like the, the, the icons, like the flat icons, or the flat icons need to be themed more like 
the regular Windows icons. Okay, you can't have both. It that's what throws people off is because they don't know what it is. You you have to have continuity throughout the whole thing, or it's it's jarring and it's. it's yeah, oh yeah, it's got to be cohe- coherent, is what I'm trying to yeah. say. Yeah, or cohesive, I guess, too. Like throughout everything, you can't just like I'm. I mean, I'm looking at the. Uh, like the pause, smart menu now. Go through Not like smart, yeah, but. it's a, it's on uh, four f- four minutes and fifty six minutes in. He shows the start screen. Just pause it there, and, and mm. everything looks like Windows. And if you're not a huge fan of Windows Eight at all, well, you're not getting much in return here. You're getting the start menu back, but the UI, uh, including like the the menus and stuff, is still going to be more like Windows Eight than uh, I don't know Windows Seven. I'm, I'm looking at it right now, and I'm actually downloading the... I just downloaded the Windows 10 technical preview for oh, Parallels. Yeah. Because yeah. Um, I kind of want to try it out now. Right. But I don't know. I I personally, I really like the way that this 8-7 combination looks in the start menu. I don't know. For me, it looks perfect. It doesn't look... It doesn't look bad. I'm just... I just want it to look... Like, I, I use... It like right now, and I don't have a problem. It's just kind of weird to see those together. Yeah, I know. I hear what you're saying. Like, see, it's, look at the PC. Like the PC settings icon has like a on the left has like I I I'm, I know I'm looking at a different screen, but it's a recently opened app, and it's like a square box. Yeah. Whereas like the pictures app, or I the see pictures what you're folder saying. is like a actual icon. Now. I, I'm looking at a, a developer preview, so so obviously yeah, things are subject to change, and I probably will. But mm-hmm. um, I yeah. don't know. It's gonna be a big change. Yeah, it, it's it's a, it's it's kind of a uh, solution to both parties, and I hope that everybody likes it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I doubt it, but <laughs> yeah. Well, everybody loves Windows hope. Seven. That's because Vista was so bad. Well, but... I mean, if you... If Apple came out with a terrible operating system and then, like, came out with OS X Lion, people would be like, yes, yeah, something that works. I mean, Vista was bad in, in like, I guess, bugs yes. and uh, issues and stuff like that. The UI was not any different from Windows 7. I mean, they, the, they made the... the the toolbar on the bottom transparent and that's pretty much it everything else looked the same so i that's yeah. kind of weird to me but um, um i don't know i i'm, I'm going know. i'm going to i'm definitely going to upgrade to it because of the thing we're going to talk about next which is streaming dun 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 mm. dun dun, dun, dun. From NBC News. <laughs> uh, you so that, what is this uh, streaming uh, feature? Because uh, 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 you've been talking about it like crazy, and I uh, kind of a, understand it, but I kind of don't. It's the thing that makes the Xbox One beat the PlayStation Four. No, that's that would have to the Xbox would have to just become a PlayStation for it to beat the PS4. Yeah, this thing <laughs> is definitely like. Like currently, my view of both the Xbox One and the and the PS4 have been pretty much equally respected in the terms of hardware and how they function. Uh huh. Um, until now. Until now, and this thing. So basically, I've been trying to completely understand it, and it's really hard for me <sighs> to, because I don't get which one is which. Uh. What I mean by that is, you'll be on Windows 10. It'll have an app that comes with it, where you will be able to play Xbox games over your wire wireless network or Ethernet Ethernet network, and we'll get to that okay. in a little bit. Um, on your computer. So, like, I could play um, you Destiny, could, say, you could on load the up, Xbox. Right, you could load up Destiny. From my PC. Go upstairs to your computer and play it on your computer. Or, I know that's not how your setup is, but... Yeah, I, I know, you're just... I mean, obviously, right. I'm not the... <laughs> I have a different setup than everybody else listening, but... Um, that sounds... Very nice. Yeah, and and this has been something that... That, that PC uh, has been 
uh, gaming manufacturers have been uh, diving into recently, and one was uh, announced at CES called uh, the Razer. Um, the Razer like uh, court no, it, it's like a little TV box. We talked about it on the last po- uh, podcast where you can stream games to it and can also play like Android games or whatever uh, on your TV. Um, basically, that came about because Steam machines. Um, PC gamers who had a lot of money were going to buy it primarily not to play games solely on it, but to stream uh, from their supercomputer in their house uh, to it, like on a TV downstairs or something. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, that would be so awesome if, like, consoles did that. They never would, though. And it's happening. Um, Now, I don't... I don't... I. I don't know if it's vice versa where you can stream like a game from your computer to the Xbox. I thought that at first, but I I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not sure. I I would say that that's not going to happen because of the Xbox limited hardware. I mean, you can stream videos and music to it right now. I can I can stream music and video to the Xbox right now. So. Well, I mean like r- la- <sighs> Like trying to run Watch Dogs on the PC and stream it to the Xbox One with like high graphics, I just don't think it would work. Well, you, but here's the thing though: all the processing is being done on the computer. And then and the okay, Xbox okay. One, the Xbox One's job is to take it. The Xbox job just is to have a high connection and then display it. That's what its job is. My issue is. I don't know how they're gonna stream a game over. Wi-Fi. Now that's the thing is that you're you can't have any old Wi-Fi network for this thing. To yeah, work and that's gonna be annoying. Like I'm, I shouldn't say that because I have really really good internet. I got upgraded lately, and I'm really right. lucky to have like hundred meg download, which is insane. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, for once again, if for the common if person, you're Ethernet. I I almost see there being no. No latency or any problems if you connected Ethernet because you're not even going through the internet. You're just going across wires to uh, on your local network. You're I would agree. Yeah, up a LAN connection. So yeah, for sure. Ethernet is a completely different story. Yeah. But I just don't. I don't know. I, I'm very interested to see how how it, how this is going to become mainstream. I mean, I've heard it. It, I've heard it works pretty well. I mean, you have to be close to the router, obviously, with um, NVIDIA's Shield. Have you heard about that thing? It's like a... Yeah, I've seen thing. the Shield. It's pretty yeah. cool. I'm all, like, I, I don't know. I would never have, get it, but... Right. You have to have a compatible graphics card, which mine is. And I'd, that'd be pretty cool to test out uh, is it streams it from it, so... Your computer. All the processing is yeah. done on the computer, and... It's streamed to your um, Xbox. Xbox, or I mean, uh, the the Nvidia thing, or whatever, the Shield. Um, that would be cool if that would be the same for the Xbox. Now, at, uh, also, you you can't have any old computer for this. I'm sure there's going to be hardware specifications, and uh, you're obviously going to have to have Windows 10. Uh, but this thing, uh, this this is this is awesome. This just makes uh, the Xbox. I, even better. I even better. Like I didn't. This is a dream come true, kind of. Um, and then also, I heard. I not. I. You, I need to. Fa- you might need to fact. Uh, facts check me on this. Fact check. Uh, that um, the the Xbox will soon be running Windows Ten. Mm. No, no, no. When I say that, <laughs> when I say that, I say it in a way. As Steve Jobs did when he said that it, that Mac OS X was going to be running on the iPhone. That's what I am saying. In it. Wait, he said that? Yes, he said that, and it made me really mad. Um, that's all I'm saying. He said that about the iPad. I got mad every time. Uh, I've never heard. Well, i never heard of him saying that. Yeah, he said, and it's also going to run Mac OS X. I'm like, dude. That's like the coolest thing ever. It's not practical at all, but that sounds awesome. No, it's huh. not running Interesting. at all. It's just running a, a slimmed, a way slimmed down version of it. Yeah. it's. I don't even know. Can you even, this is a whole different discussion, but can you really compare iOS to OS X? No. 
Yeah, because there's not a lot that's similar. I mean, the, obviously the interfaces are completely different, but I will say you can definitely compare uh, the Xbox f- software with like oh, the yeah. s- squares to Windows 8, Windows... Well, we have Windows Across 8 Across everything. Their phone, their, yes. their, 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 the computer, and the Xbox. It's it all the most looks similar the same. thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apple's just... Apple ain't about that life. Yeah, I mean, they made a revolutionary interface, so they should probably stick with it. Yeah, I would. Oh, I would agree too. iOS changed the game. Yeah, Xbox One is getting Windows Ten. Hmm. I am intrigued now. So I am assuming it'll look a, a little bit different, but not super different. I know what you're saying. It'll be yeah. a modified, it, slim down. Right. Hmm. Uh, but they said they're doing this because it would be easier for app developers to trends for their apps across platforms because the, the windows store and the computer has a lot of stuff in it right now whereas the xbox store is uh not not filled as with as many things that i thought it would be filled with at this point now hopefully it won't be filled with a ton of a uh, ton of stupid apps either oh I, yeah i hope it's not a bunch of dumb stuff mm-hmm. that'd be aggravating but uh that does sound very cool I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of excited now. Not that I have a PC because I don't and I I'm not going to say I, well, I guess I have parallels, but I mean, I'm not going to stream games to my computer with a, a <laughs> virtual machine. That would be a disaster. Right. And then but I never I am excited. Yeah, yeah. I never said what uh became of everything if you guys do listen to this regularly. I said I was going to build a Hackintosh. I spent 3 days Constantly yeah, he tried. trying to get it to work. And we were I up till 3 not. in the morning one time. He was trying to figure it out, and he just couldn't do it. Yeah, it it was I, it was crazy. I got, I and don't say I didn't try if you have done it before. You didn't try. Because that's what people say in YouTube videos and stuff. I, I got, I asked for help on the forums, and, and several people responded. None of it worked, so I'm, I just gave up. And now I have Windows 8, and I'm not. Sad. It's just done. didn't work, so I I don't care. <clears throat> just as long as you got so, a good computer, and, and I will be getting Windows Ten for free. Yeah, because you have Windows Eight. Uh, and if I didn't say that, yes, Windows Ten will be free for all people running uh, Windows Seven and up. Now I would argue that this is in order to compete with Apple because oh, definitely. OS Ten is free now. Definitely. I mean, not enough people bought Windows 8. And yeah, this is sure. a way for people to... This is a way to get more people up on their mm-hmm. the latest uh, OS, for sure. Oh, yeah. And I, for sure, I mean, obviously, people are going to upgrade if it's free. People buy free apps more than they buy paid apps. Everybody's guilty of that. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, it's free. There's no, uh, there's no like, price barrier. Exactly. Which which is good. I'm glad that Windows is doing this because more people are going to be able to be on the latest firmware and take advantage of the new features. And uh, yeah. just another thing I'm excited about. Yeah, it's, I think this I'm, is a very good move. I was extremely impressed with this event. Now, I didn't watch it. I'm going to confess there, but I watched like Techno Buffalo's video about it a little bit and uh, just kind of looked researched on my own. And it they, they announced a ton of stuff. It was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Now... I want to talk about the <laughs> coolest thing that I saw. What is and that, that is the Microsoft VR. Yeah, this, this thing, thing is, is awesome. freaking awesome. <laughs> you can Okay, so basically it's kind of like the Oculus only it doesn't cover your front vision. No, you see think. through it. Okay, you see through it and basically it projects literally holograms around your house or wherever you are. So Right. It could project television on a wall where there's no TV, and you can just be, like, watching a game, and it looks flush against the wall like a normal TV would. They did this really cool animation of Minecraft in your living room. That, that and, was cool. <laughs> and it, like, yeah, it was really cool. I, I like Oculus. It's a cool concept. But honestly, the mainstream, the, I mean, pe- normal people aren't going to walk this, around with. This thing looks way cooler than Oculus. This looks like the future. You heard it here first. This this is what I pictured as a little kid. This is what No, I for sure, for sure. This is like what I thought, when I, what I saw when I saw Star Wars and holograms and 
Now I'm waiting for the day where you can do this without any headset whatsoever. Yeah. And that's when I will be hands down hashtag no regrets about VR. <laughs> well, holograms exist. They do? Yeah, but they're like they require a lot of stuff. Of, you need to things. have you need to have like three like <clears throat> things like mounted on your roof like in certain directions and oh, it's... <clears throat> used to like all project in a certain spot and that's it's crazy that is it, crazy um yeah but it still sounds awesome i don't know i saw this and i was amazed mm-hmm I was just amazed. It 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 was just so cool. I mean, imagine being able to project YouTube wherever you are at any time. I also wish that this is the UI for it too. Like this looks like oh yeah, it looks futuristic. I mean, and I know this is just a concept, and that's all animated stuff. But um, that the the uh, thing we're looking at right now, people, is is really cool. Yeah, once again, I'll try to, I'm sure I'll forget, but I'll try to link what we talked about in this episode down below in the podcast, or if you're listening to this on YouTube in the description below, but there's a lot of cool stuff, and a lot of the stuff I'm thinking about it now that we talked about is all visual, (laughs) and we're trying to describe it in audio form. Right. So, we try, but if you're a little confused, just go to show notes, go to the description, and uh, click on the links to like Windows 10 menu or whatever, and then you'll be able to get in better picture of what we're talking about yeah but um this thing yeah this is awesome and they said like apparently this thing is not as far away as we think it is it's gonna that's what i've heard as well it's gonna launch like with windows 10 which yeah that's what i've heard later this year too that i'm i'm interested to see how this plays out Yes. Let's um, put it that way. <laughs> this one has piqued my interest the most. Greatly. And I have and I have kind of looked at VR and examined it, examined it from uh, here. Because Sam and I, were not big on having to wear A huge things thing on like, your face. Or, I mean, yeah, just like ha- having this stuff on you. Like, I'm not even, I'm not a huge fan of headphones. I'd rather listen to open air sound. Same here. Stuff like that, and holograms I've always thought was were cool, uh, and but like like the VR and and um, what's another thing I'm thinking of? Uh, can't what? think of it right now. I don't know some other thing. Sony Project uh, Morpheus. No, not not a VR thing. Like oh, another okay. subject, but uh, yeah, VR is really cool, and I hope that it takes off a- along with this. But this thing seems cooler. I. Because you're actually making reality virtual. Like, For real. It's not like rather a... Rather than making virtual reality. Yeah, exactly. That's a good way to put it. I mean, you're not yeah. looking at two video screens with Oculus. You're not it, looking at a screen. I you're was, looking at... Light. I was I mean, kinda, you're looking at your, your wall or whatever. Go ahead. Exactly. Yeah, I was dumbstruck to find out that that the, the, the um, you know, the Oculus Rift is, is a screen in a um you know in a mask there's no there's no like there's there's not two screens for each eye they're not curved in a specific way they don't have some type of feature like on it that doesn't hurt your eyes no it's a it's a modified not even that much sam the last i heard was like a modified just a regular samsung galaxy s4 screen or something like that yeah no i that sounds really familiar and that's that's just crazy to me that that it's that simple to make a VR headset. And then, uh, who was it that came out with the cardboard thing? That uh, was Google. Yeah, Google. And you and put they, like a Nexus Five or some Android phone in it, and it's supposed to give you like VR. Yeah, and and it's like that just proved the the point even further that it's it's kind of crazy that it's that hard to make these when that's all it is. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying for sure. I now, mean, the cardboard, it's, no, don't get me wrong. The cardboard's really cool. When I saw that, I'm like, I want to do this. Yeah. But you're not going to walk around. I mean, sure, <laughs> is it going to provide entertainment for 10 minutes, but are you going to go to school no, with there's... cardboard on your face? Really? Well, well they did it as like a, a publicity stunt. There wasn't a strap or anything. You had to hold it up to your face. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It seems like... a little goofy to... I don't yeah. know. Even I mean, just think a team probably worked on that for like months. That's sad. And for like ten minutes of entertainment, I don't know. I guess you can say that about any. I mean, almost anything, but right. 
I don't know. I, if they honestly thought that this would be worth it, I I don't know. Cardboard yeah. VR, yeah, it's cool, and I I I'm not totally bashing it. Sure, it's awesome to be able to show something like this to people because even I was amazed. I'm like, or not amazed. That's not the right word. I was intrigued when I saw the cardboard, mm-hmm. but I haven't thought about it for over a year. I mean, Oculus, I think about relatively often because you hear about it a lot, but Right. This was a one-off thing. Yeah. Not too uh, too cray, in my opinion. Not too crazy about it. Yeah. I mean, and I... The most The hardest part about it probably is just the motion thing. Uh, getting that all calibrated correctly. Uh, speaking of that, um, the... How this is going to work, the uh, Windows headset... Uh, is it will be using IR beacons that you place around your house. Um, oh. And this is kind of weird because you have a lot of stuff you might not even know that uses IR already. Uh, okay. Like your TV remote uses IR. Uh-huh. And Do you so, know what IR stands for? Mm, infrared? Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Let me infrared. Google that real quick. Let me fact check you. <laughs> Uh, I, the Connect um, on top of my screen, uh, it has IR. You can see it pretty clearly when it's on. Um, and uh, this is um, interesting because, like I just said, the Connect has it. Now I was listening to a podcast and they thought it would be interesting um, if it was uh, if it calibrated itself to also use all the available IR technology already in your house. Uh, so it could also um, build off of that to support itself. Well, Jake, that is cool, but I did find some definitions of IR that I think are worth sharing. Okay. IR, capital I or IR, lowercase I, may refer to iridium, chemical symbol, 77th element. Uh, yes, dot borderlands IR, too. <laughs> internet, country code, top-level domain for Iran. IR right. may refer to Iran, international relations, Investor relations, injured reserve list, <laughs> international rules football, independent Republican Party of Minnesota, <laughs> <laughs> instrument rating, impulse response, imaginary realities, that actually sounds kind of cool, international rescue, or I can't even read that word, and then in <laughs> mathematics, the set of real numbers is sometimes written on computers as IR, the standing the I standing as the R's double bar. All right, well, I didn't learn I think, anything from I that. Think, so. I think four back was our definition. Four, like four of them back. Oh, yeah. Here, here's what IR means. No, it doesn't mean in... I don't want internet slang. I want to know what IR means. <laughs> what does internet mean? I'm going to put tech behind it. Yeah. Um, in for... Oh. I think it means infrared. All right. <laughs> let me let me triple check. Uh yes, infrared IR. Oh, infrared radiation. Ah. IR. Okay. Yep. Or just infrared, and then the A- word radiation I. is behind it. All right, got that solved. That was driving me crazy. You were right, Jake. Yay! My imaginary hat is off to you. <laughs> Um, is there anything else that we missed or didn't talk about relating to Microsoft? Because this is just going to be a Microsoft episode. Yeah, I know. Everything uh, Windows 10. This is the third time I swear my phone has rang since <laughs> we've been recording. I I Oh, the phone downstairs. Yeah, I heard it once. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I just want to say with the other VR, instead of infrared... Um, Razer's um, VR headset they're going to make is uh, going to support... It, it does not come with motion tracking and will support stuff where you could do that, uh, like attach a camera, uh, and the camera will look at stuff around the room, and that will be the support. Instead of actually having like a gyro in it, it will mm-hmm. be uh, seeing how... Uh, seeing like the things from the headset and that will know how you're moving. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Has another headset done that before? 
Uh, I don't know how Oculus is, uh, specifically works right now because they have changed it a couple times. Yeah, they've had different versions. Um, the, the last one I saw, I thought used tracking dots on the Oculus and you put a camera, uh, in the rim, but I'm not sure if that's the design that is currently used. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, did you, uh, did we miss anything from CES last week that you wanted to talk about or no? I'm trying to think. <laughs> it's a good question. Yes. Very many good questions today, as with all questions. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've missed anything. Uh, we talked about all that. Well, we talked about a lot of stuff last week. Um, no, I, uh, there's nothing else I need to talk about as far as CES. I think we covered just about everything. Yeah. Other than drones are awesome. And <laughs> I'm excited, but very interested to see how they, uh, are going to fly around in the U.S. That's gonna, that'll be discussion for another podcast. Oh, for sure, but I don't know. It's crazy. Those things are going to be running into power lines and blowing stuff. <laughs> You're just going to hear an explosion in the middle <laughs> of the night. You're like, ah! I, I picture it like, um... Uh... Mm, I'm thinking of a funny YouTube video, I think, so that wouldn't really be something to make an example of. <laughs> Alright, anyway. <laughs> um... Dude, I feel like something happened this past week. Yeah. Like, there was something that I wanted to talk about. I apologize for this boring little time <laughs> for everyone listening. <laughs> I mean, oh, uh, iOS... I, I want to briefly mention this. For all you iOS update... Okay, who is texting in the group chat? Yeah, where was that? Oh, gosh, a conversation is about to start. <laughs> Please, no. They're friends. Yeah, uh, anyway... I'm to get my phone on the floor so it doesn't make noise. <laughs> I saw... I read somewhere that iOS 8.1.3, like the, uh... Oh! I guess on WordPress, oh, you can see, you wanted, like, to, you wanted to talk about how there was just a jailbreak that just came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, but, yeah, that's... that's. <laughs> I'll talk about that briefly, I guess. So, apparently, this jailbreak called the PP Jailbreak came out, and it's for Windows and Mac... And it's mm-hmm. for all iOS 8 software. And just just came out. I mean, I, I didn't cover it at all. I, honestly, I don't think I've said anything about it whatsoever. No, you haven't. And I'll tell you two reasons why. Number one, I haven't used it yet. I have it downloaded, but I haven't used it. So I haven't even tested it to confirm myself it works, right. even though I've read it has. Number two, no one in the community that I've seen has even confirmed that it's safe yet. Muscle <laughs> Nerd hasn't said anything. I Hate Snow hasn't said anything that I've seen. Just nobody said anything, so the worst thing that I could possibly do is make a video about how to do this and then find out that there's a huge malware and then everyone hates you forever. I'm not going to take the right. risk of having, quote-unquote, hundreds of people's devices infected with... Yeah, and it's it's you're not the person who should be testing it. Yeah, exactly. I mean... Because you don't really... It's not your job. Yeah, exactly. So... Yeah, uh, if you've heard something about a PPJ break, I haven't commented on it because I have not used it yet. Um, Jeff Benjamin from I Down on the Blog I know has used it, and he said it works, and he hasn't noticed anything bad, but he said he used it on his test device just in case. But other than that, I it's for Mac, so if you want a jailbreak, I was 8.1.2 on Mac, you can feel free to do that with PP, and we'll once again have that link down below in the description. But um, I, I guess I don't really care because... It already jailbreaks the latest firmware, which which Taiji, my bad, does. Yeah. And it doesn't it doesn't do anything different. I don't know why they released it. I I mean this that was that's an awful idea for the developers. Like there's no publicity with it at all. Oh yeah, I mean it got. I would say it got like one fiftieth of the publicity. I, like I am subscribed to five people that do stuff like that, maybe, mm-hmm. and I only saw like one person. Yeah, there. exactly. Because so. I don't know what. I guess I don't see why they did it. Yeah. Now, if they so, jailbreak eight point one point three, 
That's a completely different story. Yeah, that's a different story. There's a jailbreak out that is totally fine. I have not really seen any issues with people's devices getting messed up or anything as far as like it not working. But yeah, I, I, I don't know why. If you want to see a uh, awesome glitch with Watchboard, I'm going to upload that to the uh, my channel. Oh, yeah, you should. That, that's yeah. funny. I'll have to link that on Reddit somewhere. <laughs> Um, it happened to me. It's happened to me a lot lately. It yeah, I, whenever I try to rem, uh, move an icon around, it mm, happens to me. I had to uninstall it because it mm. was driving me crazy. Anyway, yeah. about eight point one point three, I saw that I guess WordPress sites can track firmware versions that are visiting the site, and Wait, apparently, whoa, whoa, what? so like a WordPress site, I think can see what firmware version is viewing the web page. Oh, so like apparently the call logs or the v- visit logs, I guess you would call them. Mm-hmm. They've been showing tons and tons of stuff of iOS 8.1.3 and like it's ramping up daily that more devices are using it. So it's rumored that it's been like seated to partners with Apple and employees or something in store to test huh. and make sure there's no bugs. So that is supposedly coming soon. I thought it would have came out this week, but I'm going to go with, and this is of course just Sam's update prediction. Uh, I'm going to say it's going to come out either Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday of next week. Watch it come out on a Wednesday or Friday. That would be my <laughs> But uh, I would say it's probably going to come out next week because that I first saw something about it like two weeks ago, it seems like now, and usually it's about three weeks after you hear something about it that it's released. So right. next week or the week after, and uh, hopefully it'll be here. Hopefully it doesn't patch the jailbreak. I don't even know what it's going to fix, honestly. I haven't had any issues with iOS. Right. So... That's all you need to know about 8.1.3 for now. All right. Is there anything else you would like to speak to, Jake? Well, subscribe to the Gavit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, subscribe, subscribe retweet, uh, yeah. upvote on Reddit. Uh, we're going to upload some more videos of the game base soon. I'm going to uh, do a uh, how it is on the best game of 2014 last year, so... That'll come out soon. We're thinking about... I'm thinking about doing a podcast uh, for my channel. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, I would listen. So, uh, on over at Belly Productions, so if you want to go over there, and uh, we're probably going to be doing that soon, so... Check it out when it's out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to thank everybody for listening to the podcast. Yes, thank you. Sincerely, I'm not sure how you sincerely thank someone over voice only, but I do sincerely <laughs> thank you. If you want to leave a review, head over to the link down below in the description as well, where you can feel free to leave a review on iTunes, and we would also very much appreciate that as well. Or even just ready, you don't even have to leave a review, just give it stars, give us constructive feedback. Yes, we'd love to hear your comments. I would love a review that's like, You guys do good at this, but you could improve on this, or talk less about this, or talk more about that, and not like, this podcast sucks, you don't (laughs) don't even know what you're talking about, you probably don't even own a computer. What's Windows 8? Yeah, hashtag Windows fanboys, I don't know. Hashtag Mac Master Race. Mac Master (laughs) Race. But we would appreciate it if you left a review in all seriousness, or a rating. Well, Jake... Um, I will talk to you in the next episode of Phone Pod. I will too, Sam. Have a good week until the next time I talk to you. Not like we're not going to talk <laughs> no, like the rest no. of the night or anything off, no, the, off the record. But... No. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a review, leave a like on YouTube, and share the podcast with your friends if you feel so inclined. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I've said that like four times, but we'll talk to you in the next episode of Phone Pod. All right. See you guys in the next one.